Well, as you probably well, this is the finished product, nice, but it came out of a mudstone cliff. Mm -hmm. And as you probably well aware, mudstone is extremely hard when it's fresh. Yeah. It weathers very rapidly and goes reverts back to a clay. But this came out to us. It had been stored for about oh, two or two and a half months and right. dried out. As you know what happens then. Yeah. When, it, when we turned it upside down the right way up, it was just full of cracks and crazes, broken bone all over the place. And how much did it weigh? You say turn it over like you just well, flipped it. When, they, when it was in the box, yeah. this, the box was up here over the top. Yeah. It weighed well over a tonne. Right, with a lot of plaster of Paris and everything as well. So it was Plast matrix bones. It's plaster and of Paris all on, on here. Yeah. But the thing is with it, that you cringe, is we didn't have enough space in that cave to yeah. undercut it. We yeah. did undercut it, but you yeah. couldn't get there to yeah. get the plaster in, get all the splints in and everything. Yeah. So, oh, I can even remember now, Chris going, oh, no, there's another bit of bone, there's another bit. So we're wrapping all that up in yeah. foil. Well, cut a long story short, we had some big chunks of that, and I was just cringing, thinking, oh, my God, what are we doing to this? Because yeah. it wasn't the right way to get it. So in the end, we jacked it up enough to get some Celotex and some foam underneath it to winch it into this box, yeah. sliding it on the roof of the skull. Yeah. Okay, but it was protected. So yeah. it did actually. It, it, it protected it. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Yeah. And when it came here, we we then uncovered it, and we had a lot of foam rubber and Celotex, and then there was a broken bone and a mouse's nest, and oh my god, it was all over the place. I know the kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, set that aside, gathered up all the bone, all the broken bits, and put them in boxes and everything else, and then set about actually getting all the sort of mudstone out. And in some ways, it was. I was lucky because although it's extremely hard, mm. naturally there's sort of faults and little cracks in it and everything else, yeah. so it wasn't too bad. So during the course, of it, it took quite a while because all these neurons were all pushed over and goodness knows what, and it was it was pretty horrible. And getting inside and there were other yeah. bits. But the nice thing is we've kept a lot of that matrix. That's been sieved. We've got lots of shark teeth and, and microfossils in yeah, it. Good, so that's been good. ongoing. Lots of environmental yeah. data. Um, and although we've had to restore the teeth at the front, I mean, the ones at the back are interesting because on that side, they're all pushed over and the teeth are all at the sockets. But in this side, if you come around here a bit, we've not, I've not restored any except for that bit. You can see, although it pushed over, the, you've got the range of teeth there. But interestingly... That's fabulous. The teeth don't reduce much in size. And right. the other thing is, if yeah, you know anything about fossils, beautiful. there's the last socket there, the back of the eye socket, the Weymouth Bay one, they finished there, right. so that's quite interesting. So toothier than normal. Yeah, toothier than normal. And this also, is fantastic. Looking down here, the change between the front half yeah. and the rear half, they're completely different sets yeah. of teeth, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're amazing. Yeah. And then you've got this crest, which on that, you remember the Dor Dorchester one, that's not yeah. got a, such a robust crest and high crest as this. Yeah. This is really high, but bearing in mind, you see, this is another sort of um, probably five million years younger than right. previously so described. So completely different material. species. Well, it could be. This parietal opening here is, is quite massive. Yeah. Judith, we're still arguing over it. Judith thinks it's still a sub-adult. Right. Oh, um, <laughs> and the interesting thing is with it, it's thrown up a lot of things because, again, think about pliosaurs, we never find the neural arches fused to the centre. Right. Until now. Okay. Not with these. Right. But funny enough, because uh, another guy, Simon Carpenter, you know oh, yeah. very well, yeah. donated some really good stuff, and he said... After Christmas, we donate some more. Yeah. You've got this big centre with a neural fused on it, that right. big. Okay. And the same guy who's been found the pterosaur material up in Abingdon yeah. has found the other type of pliosaur vertebrae without the sort of... It's got the uh, big ventral boss in the middle, big yeah. central boss in the middle. And um, that's got a fused one. So that's the so first two happen. ever discovered right. through the last 200 years collecting yeah. pliosaur material. Yeah. And the two come along at yeah. once. Great. But this one was covered in a little, little get back on here, yeah. thin calcite with a lot of pyrite, actually. But yeah. the pyrite is just surface pyrite. There's none okay. in the bone at all, good. which is really, really good. And the matrix was softer than the bone? Oh, yeah. Thank God for yeah, that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Makes yeah. it much more easy yeah. to do. And uh, so so, you've done a fantastic job. The surfaces are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Have you got bite marks on any of this? Is there is. Uh, yeah, you have to go. Come on, yep. come around here. Come on. Just... In, when there's certain sort of light, you can see cut marks across here, whereas right. a shark's been sort of grazing oh, okay. on... Yeah, quite parallel yeah, just here. Yeah, but that's about it. And the okay. other interesting thing is we go around the other side again, sorry, but the other interesting thing is just over the top here, there's two juvenile oyster spats and one little tiny circlet worm tube somewhere there. 
So, nice. it, it, so no other epiphone, and nothing was encrusting this after only that. Only just, that. Just that. Little that's that's epiphone, hardly anything. Yeah. Oh, so it was covered over quite quickly, which yeah. is why it's in such good condition. Because yeah. a skull like this, there's so much that it can break off and float yeah. away as it's decaying and being yeah. buried at the yeah. bottom of the sea, and then all sorts happen to it once it gets exposed. But luckily, yeah. I guess only this bit got some beach weathering. That was the that's first right. bit that's found. The rest of this was in the cliff. Christine, yeah. yeah. Kept really, really nice until you excavated it. Yeah. Because it's got incredible surface detail. It's beautiful. This yeah. is, has to be the nicest fossil I have seen in, well, probably my adult life, to be honest. Well, which certainly is a long for time. a pliosaur, you know, I think um, looking at some of the stuff that comes from Mexico, I think mm. preservation-wise, and what detail we got yeah. with this, it's probably the, the most complete one I've seen. Yeah, and well, certainly from this country. Yeah, it's oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, Size isn't always everything, is no, it? No, I mean, no, it's absolutely no, huge. No. But in terms of the level of detail that's preserved and the amount of matrix you've managed to get out yeah, of there, yeah. so you can see all the surfaces, not just on the top, but yeah. right inside, they've yeah, gone right, right down inside yeah. by 12 inches, 18 inches, something yeah. like that. You've got the roof of the pallet here, though. If you look yeah. over there, over here, you can see the, the pallet, yeah. the roof of the pallet there. It extends beyond there. I couldn't... I, wow. Some of that went to a clay stone, so it took me right. ages to yeah, hard grind and, yeah. and get that out. I couldn't go much further with that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, some really interesting things that I think Judy's got quite excited yeah. about, that she, again, she studied a lot of plants on material, but yeah. she said the level of detail and preservation in this is yeah. starting to throw me. Now, Absolutely. what's this bone? What's well, this? there must be things you can see on here that you just don't see on other pliosaur skulls. Yeah. Because you've got so much surface area that you don't mm. normally see. There's normally matrix in the way, yep. there's bits missing. This is complete. Yeah, no. Absolutely complete. Bits yeah. squished over that yeah, side. That's it. But apart from that, I yeah. mean, that adds character anyway, really. Yeah. You've well, got all these teeth. Yeah. These are all, uh, all in, where they were, they're all they in were, situ yeah, still. They were, yeah, virtually, yeah, just yeah. slipped out. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Fabulous. And present. So, Tell us what you've done to the front tooth. There's the original tooth. You see there, it comes right down here. We, now, you can see there's, we made this bit up, but you see it extends right down there. Yeah. And so there was a scar one we know went down as far as that. Yeah. But the, the, these are the original roots. So you yeah. see all we've done is just put the sort of crown like on. a dentist doing a crown of a human tooth, basically. But what you've yeah. done is you 3D scanned some of these teeth. Yeah. Yeah, and then just replicated them. Yeah. So they are representative of the teeth that were with exactly, this skull. Yeah. You've just finished yeah. the, the crowns off. Exactly. It looks beautiful. Exactly. So, um, and these lovely, there's these really, yes. I mean, you see it on all parts. They're really yeah. well developed on there. Yeah. Are they the pressure pit or whatever? I don't yeah. know. But there's certainly for sensing. Yeah, What's there's so on? much research that can yeah. be done on this animal but because it's so complete yeah, and got such good surface cool. detail. You are going to be rewriting the textbooks on pliosaur skulls by the well, looks of it. Gonna, yeah, there's of this sort. Of controversy, I think, I'm sure, yeah. over some of it. But let me just see if I've got. Well, if you're not causing some controversy, you're not doing your job, are you? No, exactly. It means oh, you haven't got anything new. So what, you don't know what they 3D printed in, do you? The, the no, material. No. Right, no. okay. Yeah, some nice detail on that. Well, it's not that great. I didn't think they were that yeah. good, to be honest. I think, because this was CAT scanned. Right, okay. So, on the original tooth, was not much smaller. Was it one. micro CT scanning or just normal CT scanning? Normal CT scanning. Okay. Yeah. Ideally, you get something like that micro CT yeah, scan to get a lot more detail. And but then, again, we were dependent on someone's goodwill yeah. to do these, because yeah. they've done quite a few. Yeah. And that was really, really good. So Well, with a bit more funding, you might be able to get some really good detail micro CT scans and someone can then actually look at yeah. the detailed internal anatomy yeah. of these things yeah. and say something about the structure and formation. Exactly. Well we've got other tooth crowns that are yeah. not or teeth that have come from this, some of them that come out. Mm. And um, now well we've got the University of California, they're working on uh, I should topic analysis of all this stuff to right. work out the tip what they've been feeding on and all this yeah. sort of thing. So Absolutely. hopefully we'll get some results from that as well. So that's really, really good. In terms of the preparation mm. Firstly, how did you do it? Secondly, how long did it take? Do you know what? This is the question that everyone asks. I don't know, because I took it a day at a time. Ash will probably tell you. Come on, Ash, I, I don't know. Came in in December, 22. Got to this stage in about September, 23. Okay, but you weren't working every single day? No, right? God, no, no. Yeah. Some of the time, still, it stopped completely for weeks. And so even morning. if you'd done, say, 12 months solid, that's still a hell of a job you managed yeah. to do in 12 months. That's a beast. It's when you look at the volume of material that's yeah. been removed from well, in here as well, not just the length of the skull, of, but all of this out. How many bags of rubble did we ship away? 12 half underweight bags that we took out of mudstone. Off this. Off of this, and bits of plaster as well, because, yeah. 
And so originally this must have weighed about a tonne and a half, maybe? Well, certainly over a tonne, because the farmers, yeah. when they lifted it, nearly wet the back wheels of the thing. Yeah, you know, we had the so same with the Rutland Dick thesaur. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right, we had, did you? had to do a few test lifts yeah. just to make sure that skull yeah. wasn't going to tip the whole thing over, and the abdomen block weighed about yeah. a tonne and a half. But so we, it must be similar to this. Yeah. Well, we think now it's, it's probably only half a tonne, hoping, because we've got to lift yeah. this physically. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be any more than that. When probably. you say lift it physically, you don't well, mean by people, do, do you? You've got well, a gantry. We were going to get this A. You remember I explained to you about that A-frame with the gantry? Yeah. and then, yeah. Well, the guy who designed all this sort of thing said, well, I'm sure if there's only half a we, He's got these poles, we, and yeah. there's 10 people lift. Yeah. Hopefully, you might be able to slide this tray out, drop it down on there. This then comes, we move all this, then yeah. comes on there. Oh, that's useful. Drop it on there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be displayed on that, is it? That's yeah, the, but the we won't see it like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, but you yeah, can just yeah, move yeah, that, that into position. The, you can see it's quite strongly. So you only have to lift it the once. So as long as those people are dispensable, you're all right. Yeah. And if you see, the, the, the dome would be up there, so it's not as if it's massive height, you've got to lift it. Yeah, down, yeah, so you've it, only got to get it... In fact, this is a good height. If someone yeah. my height gets it there, yeah. you only have to lift it a few inches, turn yeah. around and put it there, yeah. put it back down. Just make sure they don't have bad backs to start. Yeah, so no, we, we'll walk forwards finish. with it. We won't turn yeah. around, we'll yeah. walk, you know. But that's, yeah, so we'll all walk the same thing. Absolutely. So, so yeah. how did you prepare it? Because that was how long it took, about a year of I, your very skilled if, time. Okay, so just as you're probably well aware, air pen, so, you know, yeah. the... Um, one, some of them with a long stylus, the ones So pneumatic needle pens yeah, that go needle. in and out with tungsten yeah, yeah, tips, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of thing, chipping away, yeah. Yeah, and a diamond grinder. Yeah. Because sometimes, especially this sort of claystone, which is like, you know, hard as rock, you just to grind it down yeah. using that. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, and that an air was, after that. And then the air abrasive, yeah, yeah using... I mean, surface. certain places I'd buy carbon soda, but some of it, because of this sort of... It was a weird sort of, it, it was better on a very low pressure with yeah. aluminium oxide, very yeah. low, okay. and it worked really, really well without destroying the surface of the yeah. bone. You well, know, good. It's, yeah. um, I think it was quite good. Um, and plenty of PPE, so goggles, yeah. face masks, well, there's the, extract yeah. and tent, Oh, yeah, and this stuff yeah. in there. Yeah, these are good. Um, yeah. It was, I mean, it's still a dirty old job because yeah. if you can imagine you're, this is where it was. I could slide, we could jack this over. We mm -hmm. could move this over and back yeah. again on yeah. a hydraulic thing, but you still have to sort of get inside. Yeah, you've got to clamber right down yeah, and get your eyes in there yeah, with your is, magnifiers yeah. on probably yeah, so you can yeah, see what you're doing. Because my probably. eyes are shot. But yeah. <laughs> what you've I, done here with these neural spines, this yeah. is incredible. <laughs> yeah. <jack laughs> so remove all that. Up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not too bad. So. Wow. That's fantastic. And, uh, you've got right in amongst all those. So, yeah, I mean, I just want it to be on display now, and I think enough's enough, you know what I mean, ready for the next <laughs> Well, one. it's looking ready for display. It's looking yeah. absolutely gorgeous. It's yeah. fantastic. What do you call it? So everyone sort of goes on about dinosaurs and T-Rex. Well, this oh. is C-Rex. <laughs> C-Rex, very good. But I, I don't know it. what they, they say. That, that but is that a capital C for a certain reason, or is it no, SEA? SEA. <laughs> just checking. But, but I mean, Judith's going to... We, hopefully, we yeah. name after the landowner who's actually yeah. been very good to us, and... So can you say where it was found? No, no okay. Because he's, he's very yeah. sensitive. It's no, remote. Right, I, mean, I can understand it's, that. It's two and a half miles round to, to, to access it. You've yeah. got two cut-off points, yeah? Yeah, yeah I noticed that on the photos, you have to be careful of the tides yeah. around there. Oh, yeah. Quite yeah, apart yeah. from the cliffs and everything. And uh, as I yeah. say, it's rapidly eroding the mudstone mm. cliff, that's for sure. But it's, you know, I've never... I thought, well, we use these concrete points. Yeah. And I thought, oh, they'd be all right, and they'd go through that like that. Oh. It was so hard. It was like set concrete. Yeah. It would just go in and wouldn't do anything, would it? Yeah. yeah. It was the hardest physical job. Well, we've got to spend four or five hours at it yeah. before you physically yeah. do it. And you've done some hard physical jobs. Yeah. Like, so you're no stranger to hard work, no, that's no. for sure. And when you found it hard going. Then we'd have to climb back up the cliff or prussic up the cliff on ropes and then that's a bad walk up the hill with all your yeah. kit on yeah. to get up the top. And yeah. it, was, it, was, it was good. I mean, was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've Good. never gone, I've Good. never done no that sailing. Yeah. And brilliant. when I went over there, I looked at it, oh, and I loved it, it was like a little yeah. kid. I thought, this is brilliant. I think C-Rex is perfect. No one, to my knowledge, has used that before. We're not sure. Yeah. It might have in America. But even, you can call it informally C-Rex, yeah, aren't you? Can. Even if yeah. you then give it another name. name. Exactly, it? yeah. No, C-Rex. But actually, in terms of the size of the skull, this is bigger than a T-Rex skull, yeah. by far. Yeah. What about the size of the teeth? Bigger. How do they compare? Bigger. They're bigger than a T-Rex yeah, yeah. tooth. Yeah. Yeah. The longest crown we hear about is shorter than Right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Bigger, better, yeah. well, <laughs> faster, stronger, etc. Yeah. <laughs> and well, it could I swim. Don't know about that, but, you know. <laughs> and it's worth seeing it in the flesh because the photos that were online 
It looks about two thirds of that size. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's something to do with the angle where they take the photos yeah. up there. Because oh, I looked at it um, online earlier today, because of course it all came out yeah. recently, and I thought that's smaller than I remember. Mm -hmm. And I've just walked in and thought, oh my god, no, it's big. Yeah. It is bigger than it looks in those photos. So oh, yeah. I think people need to come and see it mm. to really appreciate mm. a how big it is. That's not everything, but how complete it is. Mm and just how gorgeous the bone surface is with all these shapes that there are, yeah. all these new things to discover. Fabulous, fabulous mm. specimen. And hopefully for the future, with not being composed with pyrite in the bone, it should be yeah. stable. That's yeah, well, you've got thing. good conditions here anyway, yeah. haven't you? So oh, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Good lad. Well done. Oh, my pleasure. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Your comments. Thank you. It's an honour to see it up close. Oh, not behind glass. Oh, it's nice to get you here, isn't it? <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> Well done. Beauty. <laughs> well done. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and hopefully we'll see you next time.